There are creatures and monsters from the Dune universe other than a massive sandworm. And here in this video we are going to showcase 13 of them, the deadly ones and the scary ones, including the massive worm. So let's get to it. The first one, of course, the sandworm, also known as the Shy Halud. This creature is a massive monster that is found in the deserts of the planet called Arrakis. These are highly territorial creatures that can grow up to 450 meters or almost 1500 feet long. They are the ones that create the spice melange, a substance used by the people in that universe to be able to traverse through subspace and also acts as a mutagenic substance. So the sandworm basically resembles worms with a huge maw that has rows of teeth or frills. Their body is cylindrical and are worshipped by the desert people called the freemen on that planet. Number 2. The Hybrid Spider this was Baron Harkonnen's pet. It was a grotesque black spider-human hybrid which was mutated and altered to become this monstrous creature. It has eight limbs that spread out from the enlarged abdomen, but the extremities of the limbs produce hands with five fingers each. It has a human-like head which is black like the rest of its body and two arms that sprout out from near its neck. The creature's abnormal motions were designed to mimic the agony that a former human being might experience after being twisted into the shape of a spider. Number 3. The Sea Worms If you think sandworms were strange, then its subspecies will even be more weirder. The sea worms were sandworms at one point of time and have been genetically engineered, produced and released into the oceanic world of Bazel. When grown into worm form, the sand trouts, the juvenile ones, they developed the ability to live in a wet environment. The experiment was a huge success and the sea worms began to overtake the water ecosystem from the indigenous life forms found there. It was also discovered that one of its internal organs contained a highly strong kind of spice, also called the ultra spice. Number 4. The Guild Navigators In order to travel through subspace properly, humans had to consume the spice melange which was also a mutagenic substance and so the guild navigators who after a long period of time of constantly partaking in it become evolved humans that appear monstrous and hideous. Their bodies atrophy and mutate over time with their heads and extremities elongating and a skin becoming a strange tone and texture. And the earliest outward symptoms of this melange induced metabolic alteration is seen in its eyes where the medication darkens the sclera and the iris appearing to be a very dark tone of blue which is often mistaken to be black. Number 5. The Axolotl Tanks If you think that the Star Wars Empire experiments were inhumane, then check out Dunes. These axolotl tanks were living incubators that produced living humans from cells of dead bodies an advanced form of cloning and incubating at the same time. But these axolotl tanks were in fact women who had been augmented and drastically changed like mechanized. Their wombs were utilized as incubators. The tank, according to Duncan Idaho, is a big frame with brilliant lights and cushioned mechanical hands, as well as a lady encircled by many black tubes connecting her body to the steel container. They were capable of genetic modifications and augmentations on unborn individuals. Number 6. The Cymex Here's the thing about the Dune universe. It's a very human-centric galaxy and many of the monsters and abhorrent creatures found in it were once humans or rather mutated forms of a person. There were barely alien life forms in that universe. A Cymex was a sort of thinking machine that used to be human but had been transformed into a cyborg controlled by a human brain. They have existed for tens of millennia preceding the current timeline. The Cymax human brain were preserved in an electro fluid filled cylinder which allowed it to live for tens of thousands of years in this form. Number 7. The God Emperor Okay, also known as Leto Atreides II, he was the son of Paul Atreides, the one who was now active in the recent Dune movies. Leto had powers, strange powers that could change the galactic order of things. At one point of time, in order to follow on through with his visions of the golden path, he allowed a sandworm to enter him and was converted into a monstrous sandworm human hybrid. This transformation was in the beginning just an exoskeleton that gave him a boost in physical abilities, making him run faster, jump longer distances and all that jazz. But eventually he developed a body that was mostly sandworm with the exception of his upper torso that emerged out of the gaping mouth, intact with head, chest, neck, shoulders and arms. Number 8. Omnius 
This is a robotic and cybernetic form that is a collection of powerful artificially intelligent entities which tyrannically rule a section of space called the Synchronized Empire. Even though these AIs would be created independently in different star systems, they would eventually link up with one another and be considered a single unity or an entity sharing a collective experience of their counterparts. Though Omnius theoretically possessed no feelings and thus no tangible personality, it did appear to be paranoid and genocidal against humans later on in the timeline. Number 9. The D-Wolves These space wolves were genetically engineered hunters and guardians of Leto 2's planet called Sarir. The grey bodies of the D-Wolves were almost man-height at the shoulders, around 5 to 6 feet tall. They are great hunters but have been trained to cease following intruders at a location called the Idaho River's Water's Edge. One of the characters called Siona mentions that the wolf's eyesight was so sharp that they could not miss anything even in the Forbidden Forest, a thick Everglades kind of forest, calling them Gaze Hounds. They can eat whatever they catch in the planet and hence are the apex carnivores. Number 10. The Laza Tiger the Laza Tiger was a genetically modified descendant of the Old Earth's Tiger that was used to train soldiers in a planet called Seleucus Secundus. At birth, all Laza Tigers were implanted with a control device that allowed them to be controlled remotely. They could thrive on Arrakis because they were extraordinarily adaptive to severe surroundings. These tigers were larger, faster and more aggressive than normal ones. Number 11. The Electron Electrons are gigantic tentacle electrically charged monsters that inhabit Caledon's waters another planet in the Dune universe. Few are reported to exist at all, and they are only sighted on rare occasions by deep water fishermen. Most people on that planet believe they are just myths and legends. Electrons appear to be only partially corporeal, capable of retaining any form when it touch with water. However, they tend to lose stability and form when less contact with water. While they are complex animals that are alive in the most basic sense, they still lack cells and appear to exist only as electrical energy. Number 12. The Face Dancers These are a race of humans bred to become the ultimate assassins, infiltrators and spies. Face Dancers were able to take on the physical appearance of any other person. Their name was derived from the fact that when they change shape, their faces contort and appear to dance as the flesh moves. Face Dancers, despite being neither male or female, had the capacity to assume physical sex of the person they were impersonating. They could not, however, reproduce, as they were made sterile from the start for fear of propagation and growing out of control. 13. The Phibians Phibians are a genetically modified humanoid subrace that first appeared and was first referenced in Chapter House Dune. They are primitive humanoid fish creatures taken to the million planets as prisoners by the Honored Matres, a strong all-female society. Phibians are a cross between humans and fish with low intelligence and vocabulary. They had bullet-shaped heads, slick and streamlined bodies, and were taller than humans. They also had slick green skins that shines out with an oily iridescence, as shown in the scattering, which was a historical event during the chaotic time of the God Emperor. So those are the 13 deadly monsters and creatures from the Dune universe. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe and most of all smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.